hello friends now we are going to discuss some example uh, for the problem of chromatic number as we already discussed about what is a chromatic number in my previous video uh, just we take a small recap about the chromatic number so a chromatic number for a graph g it's called uh, m chromatic if it require exactly m colors to paint the graph properly properly means that the adjacent vertices of a particular graph does not have the same color or you can say the adjacent vertices do not have the same color then it means the graph is properly painted so for the chromatic number to be a uh, for finding the chromatic number we have to consider that we require minimum number of colors to paint the graph properly and that number m or minimum number m is called chromatic number now with the same property now we are finding that what is a chromatic number for this particular graph as we know that in this graph we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 total number of vertices that is n is here n is 6 now uh, for beginner level first of all we have to find out a range that for particular graph what is the range of color for the what is the minimum number of colors we required and what is the maximum number of colors we required we find out first of all a range so that we can uh, manually find out that for that particular minimum number of colors that it to uh, consider or you can say it to follow the uh, property of a chromatic number that uh, it the, the vertices of the graph paint properly so as we know that as you already discuss about some property of a graph for the chromatic number that if we have a del g del g means maximum degree then the chromatic number which we uh, fo followed by x of g is equal or less than equal to 1 plus delta g and for the minimum degree <clears throat> for with the help of the minimum degree we can find out the x of g so with this two formula first of all we find out the range of the chromatic number with the help of a maximum degree that is delta and with the minimum degree that is rho so if it uh, consider about delta what is the delta means delta is maximum degree so see here the for this particular graph the maximum degree is 1 2 3 4 for this particular f so the maximum degree is 4 and rho represent the minimum degree so if we consider the vertex a here so uh, there are two uh line or there are two edges incident on this so the minimum degree is 2 so with the help of this delta rho and n we can found the range for the particular graph so for the help of the maximum degree x of g is le uh, less than or equal to 1 plus delta g where delta g is 4 therefore the maximum range is 5 and with the help of the minimum degree we can find out x of g x of g is less than or uh, sorry is greater than or equal to n upon n minus rho g here n is 6 upon 6 minus rho g is 2 so 6 upon 4 or you can say 3 by 2 or you can say 1.5 something this means that we can say that we have a range that is 3 by 2 with 5 this means we can have an idea that for this particular graph we need this much of minimum color and the maximum number of color is 5 now we are finding out that with the help of this minimum color can we paint the graph properly or we can say with this minimum number of color can we paint the adjacent vertex with a different color means 1.5 1.5 we can uh, take it as two color if i take it as two here means if i paint this with red or green then we can take it one more property is that see here that in this graph we have a graph contain a triangle contain a true tri uh, so uh, three triangle 1 2 and 3 means b e f f e d and f c d so graph contain a triangle means triangle means the graph is complete graph and for a particular for a complete graph we have already a one property 
that a graph a complete graph of n vertices is having n chromatic means a graph uh, for a triangle we need minimum number of three colors so this range 2 will become the minimum range will be 3 here so the x of g is equal to 3 because of a because this triangle can because this graph contain a triangle so the range will become the minimum range is 3 and the maximum range for the chromatic number is 5 okay so we start with instead of we start with 2 we start here with 3 number of color so consider one triangle at a time so first of all i am considering the triangle that is b e n f okay and i paint it like with red with green color and with blue color this means red green and blue color now with the property of painted properly we find out with the my uh, objective is that i have to paint all the vertices with the proper color till now we consider this all these three vertices that is b e f and it painted properly because all the vertices adjacent vertices having a different color now if i see the vertex d is adjacent to e and f d is adjacent to e and f because it have a common edge therefore d is not to, d is not contain a color g and b because they are adjacent to e and f e having a color g and f is color having a blue so can i paint this d vertex with the red color yes because it, it is not it is not adjacent to the vertex p so i can paint d with the red color so till now the minimum number of color is 3 next for c vertex c is adjacent to f and d f and d they are adjacent vertex it means that i can't paint this c vertex with blue and red but i can't use green color i can't sorry i can use green color because c is not adjacent to e here so till now i uh, i already painted one two three four five vertices and the remaining vertex is a now c a is adjacent to b and c b and c so it means i can't paint the vertex a with the red and green color but i can use blue color so i can paint this vertex with the blue color so see here if i use or we can say if i use three colors minimum three colors and i paint all the vertices of this particular graph properly means the no two adjacent vertex have the same color therefore the chromatic number for this particular graph is 3 so the row x of g is equals to 3 so the answer for this particular graph is 3 now we consider one more example okay so this is the chromatic uh, following graph having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so n equals to 7 okay so it's with the same question that we have to find out the chromatic number for this particular graph now one uh, way to find out the uh, chromatic number is that we find maximum degree and minimum degree and find out the range but as we see here that this graph contain uh, contain a triangle this graph contain a triangle triangle means having in three vertex it means if a graph is a, a complete graph or n com, uh, n chromatic number uh, if a graph is a complete graph with the n vertices then we have to uh, consider n chromatic this means here n is 3 so the range the minimum range of this chromatic number for this particular graph is 3 now uh, we consider one by one one by one triangle and then we paint uh, the graph with the three colors and if there is any condition that we can't paint the graph with three colors then we can uh, increase my color with four five and so on okay so we start first with a triangle that is a b and f so i paint it with red green and blue a with red okay uh, b with green and f with blue now I consider the next vertex C. See here, or you can say first vertex G. This G vertex is adjacent to, these are adjacent vertex here. So this G vertex is adjacent to 
B and F. So I can't paint this vertex G with green and blue, but I can use this. Use red color here. So I paint it with red. So till now we have three minimum number of color. Now, now we consider E. E is adjacent to G and F. So I can't paint with blue and red, but I can't paint. But I can paint this vertex with green color. So this is green here. Now the next is. Uh, you can consider C. C is adjacent to B and G. So I can't use green and red, but I can't. But I can use uh, blue color. So I can paint with this blue, red, green, blue, red, red, green, blue. Okay. Now the last vertex is D. D is adjacent to C and E. So I can't paint with blue and green, but I can can use red here. So. uh we conclude that that if we use three number of colors three minimum number of colors that is red green and blue i can paint this all the vertices of the graph properly which means that no two adjacent vertex have the same number or have a same color so this for this particular graph also the chromatic number is equal to 3 here so this is how we find the chromatic number uh, there are two ways to find out the chromatic number just consider or just uh, recall all the properties of the chromatic number of uh, the first way is that we find the minimum and maximum degree and with that we can uh, find the range or if a graph and the second way if a graph contain a triangle or you can say a complete graph and we have a property one property for the complete graph that are, uh, if a complete if we have a complete graph with n vertices then we have to consider a n chromatic number means that n is the minimum colors so you start with that minimum colors and uh, try to solve or try to paint uh, with the help of that n color and if is uh, if it happens then you can uh, you can conclude it otherwise you can increase the number of color so i hope you understood this and if you have still any, any query then you can ask in our comment section or you can send our send your query to our business email id that is i technical learning@gmail.com so keep watching our video thank you so much